For this project, we are designing a new technology for hyperthermia for which we can uh, treat breast cancer. It's a complementary treatment that combines with chemotherapy or radiation therapy, and it statistically increases the survival rates and the effectiveness of those treatments. A couple of researchers came up with a way of inducing hyperthermia, essentially just increasing the body's temperature by a certain degrees. Uh, they started researching about how would the outcome change if they decided to couple these things together. So chemotherapy and hyperthermia, radiation therapy and hyperthermia. So when they did that, they found that, oh, wait, the effectiveness actually went up a lot. And in certain cases, it went up to 60%. Hyperthermia systems currently on the market cost upwards of a million dollars. And they have a microwave antennas inside of them. So that's how they essentially they use microwaves to heat up uh, your body. So what we're trying to focus on is making it as cost effective as possible so that it reaches the common man as fast as possible. Our primary technology is working with RF and uh, antennas and radio frequency uh, interactions with the human body. Uh, one of the things we do is we make medical gels that simulate the electrical properties of human tissue so that you can take an antenna and look how it reacts with your arm or your body or in our case we're making actual gels of the human breast and we're looking at how those heat up and how the uh, hyperthermia works on them. We're focusing on making the entire applicator, including the conductive elements, 3D printable. So a doctor can scan in the MRIs of a patient's breasts and print out an applicator specifically for that patient. My overall objective is to take the commercially available materials, 3D printing filaments, and try to enhance the conductivities. The nanoparticles that we will be using is uh, carbon graphene. I plan on using a sonicator which is a device that mixes nanoparticles and its solution very evenly. We're looking to get a homogeneous uh, mixture in hopes of increasing the conductivity of the material. For any of the people who are doing this next year, I would just say, really pick something you like and pick something that is out of the ordinary because you won't understand how good of an engineer you're going to be until you really challenge yourself. And challenging yourself is the hardest thing because you know what you're good at, but you have no idea what you can be better at.